There you are. Oh, well, do I need to get my glasses? Did you put on panties? I did. Maybe it's like National uh, Commando Day. Every day is National Commando Day for me, except with this dress on. So what, what made you want to wear panties today? You don't want your vagine on? Don't want the vagine all over the podcast. I've already got my armpit fit. <laughs> Fix me, Nellie. <laughs> that, that is a very Tall loaded order. request. Yes. Oh, what's going on with your boobs? I feel like... Does that better? Pull them. I, in that, they kind of look like they were... Let me see. <clears throat> I mean, you just kind of got big boobs. I've noticed younger people are not getting boob jobs at the rate our generation did. The big boob thing is out. It's out. What happened to your fingers? Is that from pickleball? Your no. racket? No, no. An unfortunate thing happened where Josh and I were walking Cha Cha and Tubby, and they took off running, and Tubby ran right under my legs, and my legs went straight up in the air, and I face planted. Like you knocked your head on it? Yeah, on concrete. Oh, and then you got road rash on your fingers. Yeah, I have road rash. I mean, it was a huge, huge tumble. God, I wish I would have seen that. Mm -hmm. oh, I would have been so happy. We got to do the introduction to the podcast. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. Welcome to I've Had It podcast. I'm Jennifer. I'm Angie. I, okay. I just have to let everybody in on something that happened yesterday. No, stop. <sighs> stop. Stop. We're having a podcast prep meeting. And Pumps, as all of you fucking know her as, Pumps, she told me and the producers that she wants to de-identify I didn't say de-identify. That's you, a lie. You said that you didn't want to say, hi, I'm Pumps. Welcome to I've Had It, everybody. Welcome. I'm Jennifer, and this is Angela Dawn, and um, <laughs> my <laughs> co-host formerly known as Pumps. Yeah. What have you had it with this week? I've had it with casseroles. You gave me shit about the watermelon. You come up with casserole. I mean, you have no moral high ground on that. How many casseroles have you eaten in the last six months? Zero. Zero. I've had it with over explainers. Oh. I mean, we have long, long since talked about it. There's this new, like, uh, convenience store by my house. And on the thing, it says $3 gas. So I go up and I notice on the pump thing, it's like three seventeen. So I go in and I'm like, Hey, what's the deal with the price being $3 on the sign? And then at the pump, it's not that same. So this woman, probably teenager, comes over and starts explaining to me about fuel injection and all this shit. <laughs> then the manager comes over and then they start fighting over who's right. And I'm like, time out. All I want to know, it says $3 on the sign. At the pump, it doesn't say that. Why do you have to have an auto mechanic engineering degree to get gas these days? <laughs> so he's like, well, I'll go out and check it. And I'm like, okay. So then the whole way to the pump, he walks with me explaining like fuel injection and all that shit I don't care about. Then we get to the pump and he goes, oh, the cheaper gas is with the blue handle. The outside pumps don't have the blue handle. Ten minutes of my life, I'll never get back. Walk in. Where's the $3 gas? Go to the blue handle. We're done. That's it. Instead, I'm furious for the whole day because I'm like, why the fuck are you explaining fuel injection? I'm not the dumbest person that ever got gas. I think you have some ownership in this. When you go ask that question to right. the people that work at the gas station, that's just kind of what you're bound to get. So I have on my office door here a sign that says in red, bold, cap locks, stop. Do not enter unless you have an appointment with Jennifer Welch Designs. My problem is at least five to six times a day, I have people that walk in that door. They read that sign, walk in. My suite is sweet too. And they'll walk in and say, where's sweet for? And I would, five I would do that. See? I would. Of course you would. <laughs> of course you would. I'd just flop right in. Yeah. It, wouldn't, it wouldn't even slow me down even a tiny bit. You would so you're you're not alone because people do it all the time. <laughs> so this woman walks in the other day and she's like, the dogs are going bananas. And she read the sign. I watched her read it. Despite reading it twice, she opens it. And so I'm, you know, all ears. Why are you here? Because I look at the calendar and there's nothing. There's no appointment. And it says, do not come in unless you have an appointment. 
So I know that this person is a problem right out of the gates, right? So she says, where's Sweet Four? And I said, I don't know. And she gets <laughs> she gets argumentative with me. She goes, you don't know where Sweet Four is? And I go, I don't. And she was like, so, you don't know? You don't know where Sweet Four she is? She was arguing about it. She was mad at me that I didn't know where her meeting was. And then she's acting like I'm the asshole because I don't know where Sweet Four is. So we're talking about months of built up anger, right? So she's mad. She's bickering with me. So you don't know where Sweet Four is? I'm like, no, I don't know. So she goes, turns around and stomps out. And then I said, just as loud as I possibly could, you fucking bitch. No, you did not. I did. You don't think that might have been a little overkill? A hundred percent it was overkill. I was completely out of my mind. About five seconds later, I'm like, I cannot believe I just did that. Right. That was really bad. It felt so good. It just felt, you know how people just like, you know, you see crazy people doing crazy shit and you think, God, you know, can you just, can, can I just be crazy once? Can I just do crazy shit one day? And I did. <laughs> and you liked it. I liked it. <laughs> I really cannot believe you screamed fucking bitch. I did. <laughs> that, is, that is some serious rage. Totally. I mean, I was out of my mind. Don't you know that woman was like, that fucking bitch? She but called no, let me, me a fucking bitch. Let me just blah, blah, tell blah. you something. She was aggressive about my right, no, not she knowing had where Sweet Four is. Arguing with you about it. And she's literally acting like that we are positioned there to guide her to where her appointment is. Right. So number one, she was arrogant. Yeah. She was a fucking bitch. <laughs> and I, she poked the bear. And if she comes back in, I will double down. I, I, so I have to tell you, today's topic is something that I'm so excited about. So I think it was last week or the week before. I'm on Instagram, right? And all of a sudden, people are like posting like these really sweet, you know, multi-photo layered posts that it's National Sun's Day. Several things are going through my mind as I'm seeing these. Why do we have a National Sun's Day? The least of which being, oh, that is such an adorable post and this is so cute. It is, when did this happen? Right. All of a sudden, I'm on the internet and it's National Sun's Day. And as you know, I have two sons. Right. This comes out of left field. I have no idea that this is a thing. And so then finally, I just see everybody. My son's this. My sons are so great. My sons are my life. First and foremost, everybody feels the same way about their right. sons. Nobody thinks okay, it's universal. Right. So finally, I mean, I'm seeing it. And then I think, God, I don't want Dylan and Roman to think I'm an asshole. Because, you know, they're pressure. So I post on my story. I don't want to be the only asshole on Instagram that doesn't acknowledge her son. So happy Son's Day, right. Dylan and Roman. My question is, when did all of this happen? National Daughters Day. Yeah, I don't know. National Son's Day. National Donut Day. National Take Your Wife to Dinner Day. But the peer pressure is real. Like well, if your kids are on Instagram, see everybody else going on and on and on about their kids, and you don't post, you're fucked. You're the asshole parent, no doubt about it. Right. Yeah. Right. And even probably more so than Roman and Dylan, because I don't think they would care as much, but like your friends that know you have two kids that would be like, oh, what's the deal with Jennifer and her kids? She didn't ask. Like, do people do that though? Is it? It must, I think it's social media's fault. I'm just going to blanketly throw it out there. If we didn't well, have social media, nobody would give a shit what day it was. Right. So what I want to know is who decided this? Who decided it? Is there a committee? Is there any oversight? Or can I just get on Instagram today, right now, and say it's National um, De-Identify with your iconic nickname day? Who decided this? How did we get here? His name is Marlo Anderson, Uh and he is the man responsible for the national holiday calendar. On your birthday, for example, guess what national day it is? Well, I also know it's Michael Jordan's birthday, so National Basketball Day. That would make sense. That would make sense. But unfortunately, it's not not that. No, it's National Cabbage Day. So Jen Morton, our um, illustrious producer, her birthday's May 9th. And her national holiday is National Sock Memorial Day. What? Why do you have a memorial for a sock? I have no idea. I don't know if it's because you lose a sock you know, oftentimes socks oh, are born in sock. pairs and then you lose a sock. And I don't know if it's you're grieving that lost sock. 
and there's it's a national day morning. I don't know, but these are questions for Marlo. And I have to be serious because that really just sounds. Are you stupid. fucking nice to our okay, guests? I can be nice. Be nice to the I'm guests. So nice. Okay, Nilly, June twelfth, National Jerky Day. <laughs> Like beef jerky? <laughs> do we need a day for jerky? I don't do think. We of course, we don't need a Gross. fucking day for <laughs> right. Any of this have... shit. I've had it. Mine, August seventh, is actually a month, and it is National Dog Month. At the Welch residence, it's dog year. Right after year after year after right. year. A lot of people think their dogs are human, like you do. National Lima Bean Respect Day. See that just minimizes the whole day process. Like, that makes me want to boycott every day. Unless you're a lima bean farmer. How many lima bean farmers are there? I don't know. We're going to find out. Where do they even... That's... Okay, I, I, I can't take I go it. on. National Rat Catcher's Day. Rat catcher, like the band from the 80s or like the little <laughs> furry? <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks of this shit? This guy thinks of it? I guess. National Listen to Your Cat Day. Again, August 8th, National Sneak Some Zucchini Into Your Neighbor's Porch Day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. I mean, and then there's a there's a National Pirate Day. Where you dress up like a pirate. Can you make some pirate? Pirate booty. What do pirates say, Pumps? Ahoy! <laughs> right? <laughs> or arr. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Cold. So let me introduce this pumps is Marlo Anderson. Marlo, I'm Jennifer. This is Angie, but we call her pumps. Hi, and Marlo. Marlo, we understand that you are the man responsible for the national holiday calendar. I guess I have been given that honor, yes. So I've noticed, you know, because I'm on Instagram, that suddenly over the last few years, I'll like, for example, last week or the week before, I'm on and everybody's like, I love my sons and there's pictures of their sons and they're like, it's, it's National Sunday. And then I'm like, oh my God, am I an asshole that I didn't prepare anything for National Sons Day? So as the days went on and the posts build up, finally, I posted my story like, hey, everybody, this brand new holiday, National Sons Day, I didn't want to be the only asshole that didn't post about my sons. And so I think we're curious about how did these new holidays start? So it's, I know it seems like it's new, just like what you said, Jennifer, that uh, um, you start feeling like a jerk because you didn't you didn't do something yourself because you've seen somebody else post it. Right. A lot of other people feel the same way. And the next thing you know, it starts to trend. And if you were to go in and just do a search right now on the hashtag National Daughters Day, I'm guaranteeing you that there are posts from today, even though that was a month ago. Gotcha. Already. No. But when it's your son or daughter or your mom or your dad or your grandparents, whatever it is, your pet, that, that you got that little guilt thing going on that yeah. you should do something then. So, yeah. Are you the, the overseer of so these I'm, new national holidays? So I'm, I'm the founder of national day calendar. Okay. So I started a blog about 10 years ago. And at that time there were probably about 30 of these that were somewhat popular um, I started to dig into the history of where they came from, and I started to post every day about other national days that were declared in the past from, you know, Congress back in 1796 or a president in 1842 and started to write about these. And then the media started to follow that. And then they started to trend. We actually I dug up about 1200 national days over the course since the beginning of our country. Right. And they started to write about them and their histories and that type of thing. And they've all become prominent since then. And then since then, we've probably added about another 300 to the calendar. Is there, what is today? Today, um, well, yeah, it's National No Bra Day. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my day. God. That's something you can get behind. She <laughs> takes her bra <laughs> no off idea. on airplanes. This is like serendipity. Well, I swear to God. Well, that's kind of hilarious, actually. Isn't she it? it's loved not wearing a bra. <laughs> Why don't you take your bra off? The second dragons I have enough trouble with. 
without the camera. <laughs> Second dragon. No, I cannot believe it's no she, I was. We were on a flight a few years ago to Mexico, and I look over, and she is sitting next to this poor woman. <laughs> and, she, and Angie takes her bra off, and as she's flinging it across, she slaps this woman in the face who's wearing a mask pre-COVID, so she's clearly a germaphobe. Slaps her in the face, and I thought, God, that poor woman is sitting yeah. next to this train wreck of a friend of mine. But it is National No Bra Day. And then it, it so is. is today a double dipper day where we have two national holidays? Yeah, yeah. There's actually more. It's Yorkshire Pudding Day. And then it's also the Navy's birthday as well. Oh, the Navy's birthday. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Who made that, the, that decision for those to be national days? So the history of national days, how they came to be, is as varied as the days themselves. A ton of them came from Congress and presidents. Okay. And they were lobbied by whatever. And I always pick on bittersweet chocolate covered almond day, which I think is hilarious because we don't even have chocolate covered almond day, but we have bittersweet <laughs> chocolate covered almond day, right? Most of these national days were just one offs. Okay. They weren't supposed to continue on and on and on. And then so this crazy guy from North Dakota in 2013 starts writing about him again. Marlo. You know, hence, hence me. Right. And, <laughs> and, right. and they come back to life. So that, that's kind of the story about how they were just for one time. And then they come back again because of a blog I started to write, got picked up by the media, and then social media just takes over from that point. So I have an idea for a yes. national holiday. And so I'm going to tell you what it is. And then okay. I want you to tell me and our listeners how we can make this a national holiday. Is everybody ready? Okay. Okay. I'm national. To hear this. Okay. National. I've had it with national holidays day. <laughs> <laughs> how do we make that happen? <laughs> how would we do that? Well, first of all, it's funny. You're not the first, by the way. So <laughs> dang it. <laughs> not original. <laughs> but but you could be the one who gets who, you know, gets an organization behind this to make it happen, right? So do so I you, have, you you mentioned it, lobbyists. So yeah. so th there's actually like in Washington, there's lobbyists lobbying for these national days? Not anymore. Okay. So Congress and the, and the president got out of this a long time ago. We always think that those type of things are clever, you know, like having Pi Day on March 14th and, and things like that. So, Do you get Pi yeah. Day? I get March Pi Day 3.14. Okay. <laughs> I want to know how the li Lima Bean Lobby got on there. National well, Lima Bean Respect Day. Yeah. Isn't that great? How'd that happen? I've had it with that, Marlo. Yeah, yeah, I know. Me too. <laughs> Me too. But I mean, how you many have people no respect wrote in? for lima beans, obviously. I do not respect somebody, lima beans. Somebody does. That's crazy. Do you respect, respect lima beans? Well, I respect cabbage more, actually. What so, about yeah. this one? National Rat Catcher's Day. <laughs> What's going so on that, there? So that goes back. <laughs> <laughs> Marlo, what is going on? <laughs> How does this happen, I love Marlo? Dug these up. This is so <laughs> funny, but that goes back to the Pied Piper. Oh, and that there's makes more actually sense. a festival yet, I believe, in Ireland, where all of there, there's a bunch of people that dress up, and they actually lead these make believe rats out of town. It's kind of a crazy thing, and still goes on to this day. And this is the thing, right? It's not so much about what you dislike. Because we get people all the time that don't like a particular national day and we'll pick on lima, lima beans. What? Why in the world are you celebrating lima beans? But I guarantee you when it's National Puppy Day, they're oh, right. all over it. It's not about the things that you don't like. It's about the things you do like. And and just just have, um, you know, just just have gratitude with the fact that, you know, some of these national days are things that you're passionate about. So. Like lima beans. Right. Like lima beans. <laughs> but I do like that. Or cabbage. Just when, when, when I think of lima beans, I think of passion. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Hot, sweaty passion. Okay. Yes. I want to yes. ask you about some more. So August okay. 8th is National Sneak Some Zucchini Into Your Neighbor's Porch Day. I think that is such a great holiday. It is so Tell popular. me why, Marlo. Why is I, it so I popular? need to know what because this is about. Do you know what zucchini is? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever grown it before? Never. No. You know, you could you could grow zucchini anywhere and it's crazy. One plant will sometimes give you 40 zucchinis and people, this is what happens. People plant a couple of these things thinking they're going to get a couple, three zucchinis. And the next thing you know, it takes over the yard 
and you have 40 of these so things. So this right? is a prank to give them away. This is kind of a prank to give them away. Okay, what's another obscure one? That- okay, this is one that I oppose with everything okay. in me. And okay. National Bring Your Teddy Bear to Work Day. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of bring your dog to work. See, Marlo, I, 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 I have a lot of kindness in me, but also yeah. exists a cynical well. black heart. And so that cynicism and that black heart of mine, me thinking about grown adults walking into their offices with a teddy bear makes me want to scream at them. I have had it. I do bring two living French bulldogs to work with me. Right. So day. you really shouldn't talk. They're living creatures. Well, I know, but bringing them to work every day. It hurts their feelings if they stay home alone. They're I'm dogs. self-employed. They're I get dogs. to. It's free I know. country. You it's get free to country. do it. I'm saying you can do it. <laughs> but I'm just saying in general, I mean, that's kind of weird too. I don't think so. I don't think it's weird okay. to bring your dog to work. But you can admit that maybe it's weird to some people. It's yeah. not weird to you. To people that hate dogs like yourself. I don't hate dogs. Anyway, we're off topic. So sorry. <laughs> Back to the bring your oh, teddy bear. this is bear. more fun. You two keep going at it. This is great. I mean, how many people do we think take their teddy bear to work? Uh, yeah, I want to know the answer to that. Do Marla. we know? Do we have any research? I have, I have no idea. It is a popular day, though. Like National Girlfriend's Day. We'll see a million people pop on our website. And where is that on a bitter sweet chocolate covered almond day, we might get eight, you know, so. <laughs> bitter sweet chocolate covered almond day. <laughs> I need to just retire that day somehow or another. I like it that there's one day that you've had it with, though, Marlo, that even you, you the yeah. expert of the national holidays, there is one that just really grinds your gears. I, I just, it, it, that is the one. And everybody always gives me grief about it, too. And it's not so much that I have a disdain towards bitter sweet chocolate covered almonds. I just find it ironic that we do not have a chocolate covered almond day. This thing is so specific. It's more right? about equality to you. <laughs> it is <laughs> this about This is an equality right? issue. Yeah, right. I Why mean, does the bittersweet know, get it? That's and not exactly milk right. chocolate, dark chocolate. Everybody, yeah, all the chocolates should have this, right? Here's, here's one that I can get behind. It's yours so great. December 31st, make up your mind day. Yes. That's a good one. I like that. That's a good one. one. That is. Got to shit or get off the pot. By shit or get off the pot. Get your shit together. <laughs> pull yourself up by the bootstraps and make up your mind. So if we went into lobby for a day, how would we do that? So we have a, a process on our website. There's a form that you fill out. We get about 30,000 requests a year for new national days. Really? And, and then there's a committee that goes through them and a handful will get selected every year. Here's one. National clean out your refrigerator day. Yeah. What, you, what what condition is your refrigerator I, in? Pops? I'm in pretty good shape on the refrigerator. What about you, Marlo? Do you clean out your refrigerator on National Clean That's Out Your Refrigerator question. Day, Marlo? I, yes or no? You know, yes or no? Yes. Yeah, at, the, at the work at work. On here, that I do. day? Yes. Oh, you yes. do, at work. Oh, yeah. I love that. Do you on have snacks day. in your office, Marlo? Oh my goodness. You should come to our office. I should. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Let me tell you about her right here. We, not one snack, not a cracker, not peanut butter crackers, what? not one no. snack. The only office in America without a snack. Tell us about your snacks. <laughs> oh, what do you have? You, you, what you have to understand, you just have to come here because when it's National Strawberry Shortcake Day, guess what we're having? <laughs> oh, Strawberry Shortcake. Strawberry Shortcake. That's fun. I bet it's a fun yes. place to work. Yes. And you're and in North Dakota. We are in North Dakota. Yeah. Okay. Like at Fargo? No, we're actually in a, a small town called Mandan. It's just right across the river from Bismarck. What's the population of Mandan? About 20,000 people. Okay. I love yeah. that you're able to do this from there. Shout yeah, out to it, North Dakota. I, I think it really surprises people. We have 15 million people that get my image every day through an email. And then I also do, you know, we have we have a radio show and we have a, a TV news drop-in that's on 75 million households now, I think, or some crazy Really. Thing. Oh, yeah, it's it's pretty significant. It's and, a pretty cool uh, job. Anyways, I mean, she, I have to say, I would love to oh, be on the committee. I would probably be the skunk great. at the garden party on the committee. You have to say no, like over 29,000 times a Not year. Not a problem. Not a problem say. at all. So you only have to say yes, like, you know, 10 or 15. Right. Of 30,000 applications. Right. That right? could be problematic. I, I, I agree. I think you would fit in perfectly. I do too, Marlo. For this job. I do too. I do too. And you know what I would do? I would suggest maybe some housekeeping, like lima mm. beans, the, the, cho- the bittersweet chocolate that you're so butthurt about. Yep. Out. Hit so how would the you, bricks. I'm curious. How would you retire these days? Because I'm looking for advice here. I would just say the committee has met and we have decided not to renew your holiday. <laughs> Short, simple once it's simple as that. You are you are the committee and you are the oversight as well, right? 
So you can say you're a holiday or you're not. Right. So you're right. like that the head is bitch awesome. in charge. He is the HBIC. And yep. I just think you say, <laughs> we have decided not to review your holiday, Lima Bean Respect Day. What if they gave him $100,000, though? I would renew it. 100% renew it right. immediately. If they give you a big, fat donation, then you keep it. <laughs> All of a sudden, $100,000. And guess what you feel towards lima beans? Oh, love lima beans. Passion. 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 Yes. Respect. Oh, so good. Yeah. Respect. Uh-huh. You yeah. two are hilarious. <laughs> Twenty nine thousand. You, you can be bought off, is what you're saying. Easily, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah, easily be bribed. I, if I was on the committee, I would kind of let it be known, like she's the bitch, <laughs> she's the hard one, <laughs> but she does take bribes. Right. She loves five star travel. <laughs> Since there is no oversight committee to this, to this thing, I mean, it's really brilliant. It's fantastic. I actually envy this whole thing because it has a lot of power on social media it these does. days. It and is actually, g- it's the biggest trending topic of all time. It's fantastic. Really? We, we have, we have a reach most days of over a billion people. It's, it's, it's just mind boggling when you think about it. So here's, here's what I want. I, I want you to know that we're yes. going to do. I'm going to submit my national holiday that I've had it with national holidays day. Okay. I'm going to submit it. And okay. then the if campaign. there is a committee, I would it, I would like to argue my case in front of the committee. But if Part it, of being if the committee decline. is you don't have to listen to people argue. He's I know, but I'm, he, he is. The, I, I know. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. So he can just tell you to fuck right off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, I love it. The power. It's great. I mean, power has like, not gone to your head at all, I will say. You're the perfect person to be in charge of it. You are. I think well, you were the great ambassador for yes. the national holidays. Because we were kind of making fun of it, but I'm in now. I'm in. Yeah. It's just, it really is about what's, what you're passionate about, right? And and you can just say, screw it to the rest of them. I mean, I think that's that's what I do. You know, right. there are many days that I don't that I don't really appreciate on the calendar, but a lot of times we're just the messenger right. as well. Um, but I celebrate what I like to celebrate. And usually there's something every day on the calendar that I can do that with. And I would I would rather little live a life of celebration than one that's, you know, angry, mad at the world, whatever. And, <laughs> you know, you. I know, Jennifer, <laughs> that's really contrary to what you believe. <laughs> yep. uh, but I, Touché, Marlo, but touché. I love the fact that you're laughing now, so that's great. <laughs> No, I, you know, I agree with you the the celebration, and I, I do, like, I agree with all of that intellectually. I have just found that the older I get, I've just gotten horribly cynical about everything and really irritated, so much so that we've started this podcast called I've Had It, you know? <laughs> so, so, I, so I'm really curious then, Pumps and Jennifer, what what have you had it with, with National Days? What what triggered you to reach out to me to have this conversation? Ever since I've been born, I've known October, you have Halloween coming. February, you have Valentine's Day coming. I'm prepared. I know these days. I know them consciously, subconsciously, even by the weather, you can kind of tell, oh, it's getting kind of chilly. I bet Halloween's coming. Yep. And so all of a sudden, I'm on the Internet and everybody's prepared with these, you know, heart pouring National Sun's Day and it just comes out of left field and just slaps you right in the face. And then you're the asshole on Instagram that isn't celebrating your very own children while all these power moms are out there with PowerPoint presentations making people like me and especially her look like total <laughs> piece of shit moms. That's what triggered the entire thing. But I will say I've done an about face after interviewing you because the whole organization and how y'all do this, I think it's very cool. And I like, well, thank you. I'm envious of your job. No, I wish I had your job. <laughs> because I think it's really cool. And it's fun. You see the bags under my eyes right now, right? But but I have to admit, I have the greatest gig in the world. Totally. And you can so, do it in I'm, your underwear if you want. I mean, obviously not right I now today. sometimes actually. Right. I have my underwear on right now. <laughs> see? Pumps put on underwear today as I well. I did. Special wow. day. <laughs> no bra day. Good day all. <laughs> it's a good day all round. It really is. Well, Marlo, we cannot thank you enough for enlightening us and our audience about this mystery. Because I don't think a lot of people know your yeah. story or where this came from. And I think it's, it's such a pleasant surprise that the way this is done and that any listener out there, if there's a day you want, what is your website they can go to to submit their own request for a national day? 
just the name of our of our organization, nationaldaycalendar.com. National Day Calendar. National Day Calendar.com. You too, listener, can go out yes. and have a day. If if it passes Marlowe's committee, right. which I'm jockeying to be a member of. Right. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be picked. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get picked either. But Marlo, thank you so, so thank much. Thank you, Marlo. And especially coming off your vacation. Thanks so yes, much. And happy Oh, I was on vacation. I I appreciate that. I actually was working. Oh. So I'm just saying. It's not yeah. as fun actually, when you're working. I actually started filming a new piece for the History Channel. So. Oh, excellent. Oh, cool. And yeah, yeah. So there'll be a new series coming you're out. You're part of history. That's cool. So, yeah. Well, I, before yeah. we leave, I just want to make sure I would be remiss if I didn't wish you a happy National No Bra Day, Marlo. Thank you. Go No yes. Bras. Yes. Love it. All right. Thank you. Bye, Marlo. Bye, Marlo. See okay. ya. Bye. Bye. Now I kind of feel bad that we were giving him shit before we met him because, as with all things, once you meet the person, you find Can't out you really judge like him by its cover. And he's so positive attitude. Meanwhile, we have a cynical podcast called well, I've, I've Had, had it. it, so we can bitch about casseroles. <laughs> <laughs> you can bitch about casseroles. Audience, what we want you to do is go to our Instagram at I've Had It Podcast and please submit the date. And what you've had it with. And we're going to start our own national I've had it with whatever it is. We could have our own committee. Right. We could be the committee. We can be Marlo. We can. But just a little bit more cynical. And open to bribery, which he is 100% open to bribery. We might give you two days with the right bribe. If somebody called and said, I want you to have a, you know, national... um, Kiss a pig day. Kiss a pig day. And I'm like, no, that didn't pass committee. And they say, here's $500. I'll say, guess what? Find me a pig. June 4th it is. Right. All right, audience, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, National No Bra Day. And we wish you, your loved ones. Happy No Bra Day. Happy free the nip, liberate the (laughs) tit, do it all. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's it. Tell you what I've had it with. Let's hear it. I've had it with that. I've had it. Had it. Had it. Had it.